The 16th century brought changes to the way wars were fought in the Western world. For centuries, war tactics revolved around the use of feudal knights, foot soldiers, and archers. Pre-battle planning was essential for the success of the armies. Many war leaders during the time consulted old texts regarding warfare, such as De Re Militari, written by Vegetius in the late 4th century. Because many battles were fueled by the desire to seize wealth and valuables from different kingdoms, fortifications and castles were built for protection against besieging armies. It wasn't until gunpowder was brought into the mix that these fortifications and means of defense became less powerful. Although many armies across Europe and the Western world in the 16th century adapted to the introduction of weapons, such as the mobile cannon, muskets, and arquebusiers, the Spanish army was the most threatening of the time. With the Italian wars, the Spanish army began to form new tactics involving firearms, such as the pike and shot formation. During these wars, Spanish generals realized that their cavalry was insufficient compared to the heavy cavalry of the French. Therefore, they created the pike and shot formation, in which pikemen provided defense from enemy cavalry, while arquebusiers concentrated their firepower on enemy formations. This tactic gave countries the ability to expand their armies and spread wars across further boundaries. One major battle that glorified the Spanish army's military advancement was the Battle of Pavia. The battle took place in Italy on February 24, 1525, and was fought between the French Kingdom and Spain. Spanish forces created a breach in the city walls where 3,000 arquebusiers advanced on the French headquarters. As the battle progressed, the French lost morale. After only three hours of battle, French soldiers began to flee and the French king was captured and escorted away from the battle. This loss for the Kingdom of France was devastating, as their forces were weakened while the Spanish gained their land and power. Throughout all the battles and wars fought during the 16th century, there is one element of warfare in common, the use of firearms. Wars were soon able to be fought across larger boundaries and the casualties of war increased by the hundreds of thousands. Power struggles continued to surge throughout the Western world as technology increased and soon after were major turning points in the history of the world.